What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome to Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. So it's been a while since I played a tactics game, but I really like playing them, and uh, it's actually kind of how the channel got its start, was with the Mordheim series. So I kind of wanted to come back to it, and this game has been on my radar for quite some time, and with the uh, winter sale, and in conjunction with that, Steam gift cards that I got for Christmas, it just seemed like good timing. So we're going to play this one out, give it a shot, play for a few episodes, and decide whether or not we want to keep going with it for a full playthrough or something like that. So, without further ado, let's do this. Uh, normal's fine. If we decide it's too easy, we can do it later. Oh, tempting, but I'm going to stick with English simply for the sake of knowing what's going on. Some skills travel in an arc, which means they can be used from cover and pass over obstacles. Double U to center the camera on your selected character and reset the camera rotation to default. Hmm. Please stand by. Loading a level for the first time might take up to a minute, and the game might appear to be frozen. Well, I'm glad that they warned us about that, I guess. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're in Osaka Castle. Osaka. <clears throat> Early Edo period. Okay. Oh ho, ho. <laughs> Nothing personal. Just can't have you warn the others up there. Hayato. Looks like a whole nest of guards. Who'd have thought? This might actually get challenging. So this is described as a stealth tactical game. Not much happening here. I'll keep my head down, just in case. Okay. That's a big level. Everywhere. Bet they're preparing for the Shogun's next attack. First order is to reach that gate. Should be a good warm up for the real mission. Climb won't be a problem. Better hurry, though. The Shogun will start his attack soon. Uh, okay. I do not know what I'm doing here. Alright, running is double mouse left. Can Don't I see a way. climb? No, okay. Move like water. Quiet. Alright, cool. Ah, oh, there we go. This I can okay. climb. Um. So what do I do from here? Oh, jump down. And then climb this. Okay, so this will be an interesting blend of... Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? To take a shortcut. Left control. Have to improvise. Okay, so let's get down there then. Use hold left control. There we go. Okay, so mission log. Press B to open the mission log. Shows you your mission objective. So I had to pick up the mission objective first. All right. Also gives you hints and logs all conversations that you hear. Helpful. All tutorials you pick up will appear in the mission log as well. All right. Infiltrate Osaka Castle. Climb up the cliff and infiltrate the castle. Uh, if the alarm is raised, all enemies in the area will look for you, and reinforcements will come from the nearest guardhouse. Okay. Tutorials, badges. All right. Sounds good to me. Um, guess we better hop across here and move quick. <laughs> what? Nobody heard that? <laughs> okay. Rotate camera, hold left alt. Oh, wow, okay. This is going to take some getting used to. No noise. No noise, I say, as I promptly scare off a bunch of pigeons. 
I uh, can quick save at any point. Yep, I saw those, F5 and F8. Timer on the upper edge tracks the time since your latest quick save. Oh, okay, well that's helpful. Um, all right. Reset the camera with W. Huh, okay. All right, so let's quick save real quick since we're right here. Quiet. Now that I'm at the top of the cliff. Yeah, I just did it, thank you. Jump on the guard to kill him. <clears throat> stay out of sight. Death from above. Everyone, gather. Crouch with space. Like okay. <clears throat> the Shogun <coughs> attack soon. We will face them with honor. Well, handy. Never moved away. All right, let's go see what's in here. Okay, so I guess nobody can really just discover me while I'm in here. So I should go now while she's over there. Highlight with H. Ugh, they starved to death. Bad way to go. Hayato can use his ninjato to kill enemies quickly and silently. Ninjato. Press A to choose a target and mouse L to execute the kill. For a non-lethal approach, press Y to select knockout or switch modes in your skill bar. Hold left control while using it, and Hiato will pick up the body automatically. Okay, uh, well, let's try Blade taking him out. And pick up the body. And I guess we can just dump him with the rest of the bodies and nobody would notice, right? All right, let's go in there and see where this can take me. That doesn't concern me. All right, so left alt to rotate the camera. Huh, okay, so there's two guards over there. I don't think I want to go that way. So I think what I should do instead, we should go out this way, <clears throat> stay behind the cart, That's what I need to do. I need to go in there. Although I don't know what the little exclamation mark means. I don't have it on that side, but I do on this side. Maybe it just means you need to be careful, because if you don't, you can get caught doing it. All right, wait till she picks up her rice and turns around. Good, good, good. All right. Get over here, and then we'll wait for her to come back because she's going to be walking past this way. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. I was not trying to zoom out there. Okay, come on, pick it up. <laughs> bad idea. Why bad idea? Can't do that. Why bad idea? Why bad idea? You didn't say why bad idea. You just said bad idea. Oh, maybe this is a guardhouse. Is that what the symbol on the front of the door means? If I rotate over here. Yeah, okay. That's got to be because they mentioned that. The nearest guardhouse. All right, so what do I have here? Uh, ninjato to take down an enemy in close range. Heal three points of damage. Movement, stance, use mode. All right, so where can I go then to get around? There's got to be a good way for me to get through here. Ooh. All right, let's give that a shot. Okay. I'm going in. It says highlight with H. Ah, okay, so that, all right, that's good, because it'll highlight everything on the map. So if you need to see everything you can interact with, that's available. Okay, I like that, that's, that's very handy. All right, I see something else down there. Um, 
So let me see this again. Can I... Alright, there's not like a super obvious way down from here. I think I just have to jump down. No noise. Okay. He's over there, so I ought to be okay to just hop down, right? I'm going in. Alright, so far so good. Oh boy. Look out for that person. Pick this up. Enemy view cone. All enemies have a field of view represented by a green view cone. Choose an enemy and use mouse R to display their view cone. Enter an enemy's view cone. It will fill up with yellow. If the yellow reaches you, the enemy will spot you and raise the alarm. Huh. All right. Well, that's a cool way of doing it. I could sneak past this one or take him out. All right. Quietly. Real quick, I want to see where that... Okay, so there's a door there, but it doesn't let out anywhere else, so it's not really all that useful to me. Okay, we're going to quick save real fast, because I've been doing this for like five minutes, and I don't want to lose any progress. That's another guardhouse, so I don't want to go that way. Let's get to the edge of the fence. And then as soon as he turns around, we'll make uh, for that area over here. There we go. Sweet. All right, what's this? If an enemy's field of view has two areas, bright and dark. Space to toggle, crouch, and move through the dark area undetected. Objects like bushes and rocks create dark areas for you. Crouching also keeps you hidden on higher ground. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention this as well. I don't know if this will look different to you guys or not. I do have color blindness mode turned on. So if some of the colors look a little bit weird, um, that's probably why. But I felt like I was going to need that. So Okay, so let me see this then. Okay, so that's their dark zones that they're talking about. So as long as I stay crouched, like they won't see me in here. Okay, so Hayato can throw stones to distract enemies. Press D, choose a target spot, and mouse L to throw a stone. Enemies within the blue circle will look towards the point of impact for a few seconds. You can lure enemies with stones, but a few seconds of distraction go a long way. Oh, can't lure them with stones, but a few They're seconds will... Together to take okay. them out. Better use a distraction. So I need to, I guess, get, uh, let's see, that doesn't seem to have a way out, so there's no point going in there. So what I need to do, let's get close over here, then I should throw a rock over there so I can creep into these bushes. Does it need to have them in the ring to affect them? Probably. Quiet. Sweet. Okay. And now I don't think either one of them... Well, I shouldn't be in either one of their view cones. Nope. Alright, so now we can just creep over here and hop on down. Into the battle zone, it would seem. <laughs> All right, what about him? All right, as long as we stay crouched, we should be fine. I'm going in. This one shot too. Oh, I'm running okay. Options here. Damn, the offense has started. I have to get inside somehow. Forward, men! For the Shogun! Mugen! Is he going to be another buddy of mine? Ah, damn you! You have nowhere to run! That are just a dude. Ooh, samurai. Always get themselves killed. Hate to admit it, but he's my best chance. Better help him. Okay, so get to Mugen and keep him alive. Okay. Let's start by going here. Pick that up. Hayato's shuriken can kill one enemy from medium range. 
press S, choose a target, mouse L. Okay, blue circle indicates the noise made by the dying enemy. Make sure to recover the shuriken before you move on. All right. If I use the shuriken, no one will hear until it's too late. Got you. Moving. Well, let's go get my shoot again back. Nice. Okay, so they wanted me to go help him, which means I probably need to just get over the gate here. Oh, but there's a dude up there, isn't there? All right. Um, so where's his view range? All right, he's moving back and forth, but he's not... Super. Oh, wait a minute. I'm still holding the guard. I'm sorry. Uh, let's put him in here. Because why not? There we go. Watch for cannon fire. Should he get jutsu? So I should be able to get him. Down. Fast. Then I need to climb up here. Get my shoot again back. Good. Okay, so he just retrieves it on his own. That's good to know. I was concerned I was going to have to, like, grab it every time, but as long as you're in raid, uh, proximity to it, they just pick it up. Wow. <laughs> okay. I noticed your involvement just now. Tell me your name so I can thank you properly. Mind if you let me inside first? I like being thanked in person. <laughs> Very well. I will repay my debt at once by opening the gate for you. Ah, select character, so now I can change between the two. Alright, what's this? Sake bottle. Mugen can use his sake bottle as bait to lure enemies. Press D, choose a target spot, mouse to place the bottle. Enemies can spot the bottle in the bright area of their field of view. If an enemy picks up the bottle, you must incapacitate them to get it back. I should lure them towards me. Perhaps my sake will be adequate bait. Alright, so we wanna like drink or the shogun. I'll take my sake bottle back now, thank you. Quick save! Because I don't want to screw this up. Alright, so... Let's go get this. Mugen can use his sword wind technique to kill all enemies within range. Press S, choose a target spot, mouse L to execute the attack. Mugen will dash to the center of the red circle and kill everyone within its range. It's very effective. It has a long cooldown. Use it with care. Close together. I should use Kazakiri to defeat them all at once. Mm. That cannon. Perhaps I can make use of it. Okay. Sword wind. Let's do it. <laughs> nice. Alright, what are we going to do with the cannon? Oh, open the gate. Gotcha. Ba boom. My thanks again for your assistance. I am Oshiro Mugen, and you are Hayato from the Iga region. Iga. See. There were rumors that our shogun had hired a shinobi. Tell me, what is your mission? I have to open the Agoda Mon. The main gate? Preposterous. It is heavily fortified. What's Not your point? Inside. One barrel of gunpowder will do the trick. Just have to get it in position. Oh, is that all? Daunting task. Very well. I shall accompany you. That's kind of you. But I work alone. I will not hear of it. Together we will succeed where we both failed alone. I didn't. But as you wish. We have to be quiet, or we won't get far. <sighs> All right, Hayato of Iga. We shall do this your way. Cool. All right. Let's grab this real quick. View cone marker. If you want to make sure a spot is unwatched, use the view cone marker. 
Choose a target spot, mouse R to place it. Enemies that see the view cone are highlighted. Once they lose sight of it, the highlight disappears. All right, that's interesting. Okay, you go up here. Just passing through. So do I actually need to move them both? We need to fortify this area. Huh. Alright, I don't need to see them all right now. I just need to watch and know where they're going. Alright, I should check this too. So, find explosive. Okay, actually, first off... Duck away in the bushes. And there we go. Okay. Fellow gunpowder so you can blow up the Yaguramon. Ah, uh, if the alarm is raised, we knew about that. We knew about that. We knew about this. Kill through his unfinished badges are not displayed during the first playthrough level. Okay. That's all fine. What the? Yoip. Okay. Let's duck in here, shall we? <clears throat> okay. The south wall needs securing. So there's these two up here. What exactly do I need Mugen for? Oh, you're up there, though. That's gonna make things a little more problematic. Oh, but I could get out, because uh, this is not in range of their viewpoint. So if I wait for him to go back and chat with that guy... <laughs> ha! Don't get shot now. Yeah, getting shot would be bad. Let's not do that. Okay, I need to wait for them to quit talking so that this guy will not be viewing me. And then I can go over there. Perfect. We will hold the gate. Seriously, what exactly did I need Mugen for? <laughs> Because so far, I don't really need him. Too <laughs> easy. Okay, there's this guy over here. Okay, they do have a really long vision, but that's all right. So, get him. Get down. Oh dear. Damn. Have to hide now. Shit. Straight into battle. Well, okay, I screwed that up a bit. I didn't think anybody was able to see or hear him from there, but apparently I was wrong. We must search the area. Don't try to hide. Anyone see them? On the upside, I don't think they're going to see me from here. Trolling through the thicket? What are we looking for? I'm very much hoping that they will all depart so that I can get down there and get my shuriken back. No shuriken. Um. Stop your search. Return to your post. Okay, so now they're leaving. Nobody really saw me. Alright, so that is the enemies who are highlighted that can see you. No way. Okay, so there's one guy way the hell up there that can see me. That's the trick. And now there are two of them. Alright, so that's what I should have done in the first place, was to be more careful about that and how I was doing it. Because there is absolutely no way I'm getting over there. And this is going to be tricky. I was all prepared for being awesome, and then I screwed it all up. All right, go ahead and get down here. Not be far now. Your skill is impressive, I understand. Shame that your clan is no more. We can agree on that. I have to say, you're doing better than I thought. 
Uh, your way of things is still strange to me, but I am starting to see its merits. Okay, this is the dark zone, though. So as long as I stay in the dark, I'm actually going to be okay. As long as I'm crouched. Now, he can see me from a much further distance. So I need to wait for him to turn around, and then I can get down there and go pick that up. And I can always duck into the bushes if I need to. So, hop down. Get over here. Okay, get in the bushes. Because I don't trust that guy. He's going to turn around sooner than I would like. Probably being overly cautious, but you know what? That's okay. Because here he comes. They already know about the dead body, so I don't really care. There's no reason to hide it at this point. Mine. Okay, pick that. All right, shadow mode. If you want multiple characters to act simultaneously, use shadow mode. Press left shift to switch to it. You can save one action per character. Press enter to execute all saved actions at once. Well, that's pretty cool. So if I need to use one as a distraction and one as an execution, I can do that. All right. So he, his vision's blocked by the barrels. He's just rotating, but he'll watch the gate. So I need to be careful when I open that gate. But if I go now, I think I can do this. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't see you immediately. You've got time while that cone fills, so I'm okay. Now, where's his vision? Pretty far away. So if I stay tucked away in the bushes, I'm okay. And if I move quickly, I could kill him and drag him into the bushes before the other guy notices. So let's get close enough that we can do that. Now wait for it. Sword ready. All right, sorry, I'm gonna wait one more time. Let's just do this actually, so we can see which one we actually don't wanna get caught by. As soon as he turns, go. Oh shit. No, 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 damn it. Why? Just passing through. Don't try to hide. Search everywhere. Fuck. I swear to God. Oh, he probably made noise. No, he's not supposed to make noise when I kill him. Not with that particular skill. Watch for cannon fire. Shit. All right, I'm gonna die. Like that is going to happen. God, and the last save was like almost 10 minutes ago because I spent so much time crawling around on top of the rooftop. And where am I going? It's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Getting close, it's just, man. There's, of course, there's not a back way out of this one. but it's okay. I cannot climb into that, which is a bummer. I should be doing something with Mugen, but I'm just like, I don't really know why I want him with me at the moment. I'm sure I'll change my mind later, but... Okay, you know what, guys? I'm actually out of time for this episode, so I'm going to cut this one here, and we'll kind of decide how we want to handle all of this in the next episode. I might even actually start back from my last quick save and just see if I can bring Mugen along and do it better. So, um, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm certainly having a lot of fun with it, and I want to keep going for at least one more episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you hit that like button, and as always, I will see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.